This is Chris. Chris is your average all-American guy. And perhaps like many of you watching right now, he has never driven a snowmobile. This season on Sledhead 24-7, I'm gonna take Chris from being a snowmobile chump to a snowmobile champion. I've actually never snowmobiled ever. This will be my first time, my first time learning, my first time getting out on the snow. Well, the last couple of years, I've been doing a typical nine to five job and I'm looking for a little bit of excitement. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. For his first lesson, I took Chris to meet PJ Wonderscheid. At just 21 years old, PJ has already won two world championships and was named Racer of the Year by Snow Week Magazine. He's also the only person that I know who owns a llama. Make that 10 llamas. I like you people. Dan. Good, good to see you. It's nice to meet you, PJ. Nice to meet you. And he has never snowmobiled before. Really, so a non-snowmobiled? Never snowmobiled. Well, you've come to the right place. Great. Great. Let's get started. Sure. So you want to check out one for yourself? I'd love to. Right over here, you're going to see the Articat Crossfire 600. Hop on. Wow. How's that feel? When I first met PJ, I was kind of surprised at how young he was, being that he's already won two world championships and kind of an eye opener. Shows I got a lot of work to do if I'm just starting up now. PJ, you've been snowmobiling since you were three. I want to be 24 in a week. Is this really something I should be getting into it? Absolutely. Good. You know, there's people up to 70, 75 years old riding snowmobiles. Doing flips and things in the air? Well, not so much flips, but uh, we'll start out just snowmobiling. Yeah. Okay. It was nice to learn little little bits and pieces of, of how snowmobiles actually are put together and how they're raced and what it takes to prepare them and how much it costs to maintain. And, then also, he took us out to his trailer. It was, I was really impressed with the trailer. It was huge. It was, it was pretty fancy for a, for a kid uh, his age, so it was, it was fun. How long would it take to get my own trailer? One like this, you're going to be waiting a while, I'd say. I'd probably say never. Really? I, uh, I don't appreciate that comment. <laughs> <laughs> so say Chris wants to get into racing. Mm -hmm. How long would it take, or what are the steps to get him there to be able to get at that level? Well, he can take this actual sled that he drives on the trails and go to some local races, amateur races, and start that way. And one usually starts off drag racing? Yeah, drag racing. I mean, you're going to start there. It's the easiest to do. You're going to compete against people with your similar experience. So a lot of people, just like you, have never snowmobiled, never done nothing like that, but they want to give it a try. So it's not like you're going to be racing against a veteran at all. Well, I think it's the end of our tour. Chris, I think you're ready. And if you're lucky, maybe at the end of the season, get a little more experience, I'll let you drive my sled. That would be awesome. Now that Chris has met one of the best, he's ready to put himself to the test. After talking with him for a little bit and him giving me pointers, kind of gave me the confidence that this is, this is something I could possibly do and maybe win a, maybe win a race by the end of the winter, a drag race, and maybe win a trophy, even though it was a little one, still something, but it's something I'm excited about and I look forward to, to trying. Make sure to tune in each week as we take Chris from the trail to the track on his journey to become a true sled head. I think snowmobiling is going to be tough, but it's something I, I really want to do. I really want to make it happen. And hey, if it doesn't work out with the snowmobile, maybe PJ can teach him a trick or two with the llamas. You know, I don't want to mess up and embarrass myself in front of a pretty girl, so hoping I, I do okay and, and uh, she doesn't laugh at me.